Let's go. Welcome to the 13th episode of our retro let's play of Wing Commander 1 for the PC. We last left off. We had uh, failed a maniac mission. And from here on out, if we fail, we fail. This is a very tough mission. I'm not going to lie. I probably died at least 10 times off camera. And uh, we can't go like that. So if we get in trouble, I'm going to eject. And the good news is, from all the previous episodes, I finally got this working properly. What I actually had to do is disable X pattern. Uh, so I'm just going with the basic controls. So essentially, I'll be using the stick and two keys on this keypad as if we're using a joystick back in the day. I'm also going to be using some keyboard a little bit to, uh, to lock on and do that sort of thing. So let's communicate with him just to make sure we're all set here. Keep radio silence. All right, let's do this. Really excited to jump back into this. I know we took a few days off here on the recording schedule, but we're getting back in because uh, it's an important, important game. There's a lot of uh, good things about it. So here was, what do we got here? Target. Let's lock on one. We gotta. We have to remember this entire mission is is what we like to call. We have the maniac factor, which is uh, he's always going to be in our way. So because of that, if he dies, he dies. But, uh, we need to cut our... Dang it. See our, uh... There we go. Didn't mean to do that. But now our missiles launch when we need them to. The only bad thing about that is that it also... Controls our, uh... Our speed. So, you can see in the where it says set 160. Alright, hold on to our mass drivers here. Let's just... Let's take out the trash here. The furball trash. There we go. That satisfying plunk on their armor. Good, we have a little distance here. Be a little patient. A little patience here. We're gonna set our speed up here a little bit. We're at 240, let's see how... Good, keep them at a nice hearty distance. Come on, ah! We set ourselves up for that one. There we go. A few more mass drivers. There we go. There we go. Come on, a few more. Land a few more shots there. He is all red. He is smoking. Take him down. Nice. Okay, that was not bad. Now, we want to keep a little distance here because of uh, Maniac. We know he is a reckless. He probably drinks a lot behind the wheel. And uh, because of that, he just died. Um, and I, I shouldn't say that in terms of a... In a joking way, but I'm saying he's a pilot that acts without regard for other people. And any, I'm just going to be quiet about the drinking and navigating a starship. But let's uh, press on here. Let's see what we got. We should be able to handle this guy fairly easily. Until he does a complete turnaround on us. And he's now he's going to launch. Let's see, we should be picking this guy apart. There we go. Nice. Okay. Maniac's gone, but not forgotten. We're going to try and finish this thing solo. I believe we have to try and take down one of these guys. So, this is going to be dangerous. We have <laughs> four crants or three crants and a, and a frigate. We need to speed up. Here we go. I'm using the keyboard here. We're going to... We want to turn our dump fires off here. Although, we need to save our torpedoes. We... Wow, four on one here. So, alright, we're going to do our best here. And, uh, hopefully we at least get the eject light. Oh, that, a couple of those land here. Oh, I should have dumb fired them right in the face. You know what's better than dump firing right in the face? Dump fire them right there. Don't move. Oh, God. Needed that hit. I don't like our odds in this one, so let's, uh... Missile lock, send it. Try to chase him down. At least let's take out a few, as many as we can here. Come on, stay after him. We, we're going to save these final two torpedoes for that transport if we can. But it is a tall order, my friend. Jeez. Okay, we still have all our weapons. That's all right. Come on, we need some mass drivers here. Finish the deal. Couple more shots. Give us three shots out of these guns. Ah. Look at those 
Those golden space chunks. They're not golden at all. We need to speed up here. There we go. Okay, one down. Alright, no pressure here. Lock on. Why are we set at zero here? Eject. We're out. We're out. Okay. Full on panic, but for some reason our engines got cut to zero. That's probably because I hit the wrong button. But uh, on the flip side, we survived this mission. And uh, if I ever were to do a blooper reel for this, this series playthrough, I would have the playthroughs that you guys didn't get to see. Alright, let's, let's see what we're saying here. One of the Terran Confederation's boldest defenders. Now we say goodbye to one of the newest members of our squadron. That somber music. Lieutenant Todd Marshall, whom we all knew as Maniac. His enthusiasm and confidence were models for us all. You're being very, very kind there. It is a shame to see his career end so soon and so unfortunately. Sorry, Maniac. Fire those shots off. Goodbye, Maniac. I swear I'll get the furball that took you down. Captain Blue Hair. Or are we Lieutenant Blue Hair? Alright, so we lost our first permanent pilot. We got a little Triforce action right there. A little dedication to Zelda. I don't know if that's really the case, but we'll just pretend. Anyway, so that was successful in moving the series forward because we were at kind of at a choke point, but not successful in the fact that we are now down Maniac and his purple eyes and wavy, perfectly combed hair. But that's all right. There's plenty of other pilots for us to accidentally kill. Let us press on here. They're gonna they're gonna play the full taps here, aren't they? What if you just saw Maniac's ship particles just floating away? <laughs> we gotta become a better pilot here if we want any shot to beat this game. All right, let's see what. Uh, captain has for us can we press on or is this they're just driving in the fact that we let one of our own slip in slip by yeah they made us look at that colonel halcyon's office geesley come in i need to speak with you yes sir what do you need from us yes sir our hair is blue you're about to receive a golden sun for ejecting and surviving so we got an award for our uh, wingman dying but you only get one of those per career all right, we won't. I'm sure we won't eject again. After that, ejecting just wastes the Confederation starfighters. All right, I understand, Colonel. I'll keep it in mind. That's all. First Lieutenant dismissed. We get a, <laughs> our wingman dies. We lose the starship, and we get a golden sun for bravely sacrificing his vessel and endangering his life in combat with the Kilrathi enemy and the Brimstone System. On or about 2654.125, the Terran Confederation is proud to present the Gold Sun to First Lieutenant Geesling. Your devotion to the Confederation honors all humanity. Thank you, sir. Good job, Renegade. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Filled with pride, you meet the applause of your fellows. Meanwhile, outside Kilrathi military base installation in the Brimstone System, the Red Berets were going in for the kill. As the Kilrathi starships defeated the Terran Confederation fleet in space, human commandos make a daring raid to sabotage the Kilrathi base. Kind of looks like under the dome. But their desperate mission fails. When they are discovered by a patrol of Kilrathi soldiers with those Star, star Trek beam weapons. Alright, and there ends episode 13 of Wing Command. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hitting the like button helps the video. And also subscribing for Wing Commander from here on out. Until we finish the series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Later.